In this video, we're going to create some offset alignments. But before we do that, we need to do a little bit of housekeeping because when we create our offset alignments, the names of those offset alignments are going to be related to the name of the parent alignment. So our alignment that we created, we didn't specify a name for it when we created it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go into my alignment properties and I'm going to change the name of this to dev align so that we know that this is our development alignment. And then when we create our offsets, it's going to create names. So there's going to be dev align left or dev align right, and then whatever space that is. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So that, that alignment is now called dev align. And then what I'm going to do now to create my offset alignments is I'm going to go up to the alignment dropdown. I'm going to navigate to create offset alignments and civil 3d is going to prompt me to select an alignment or press the enter key to select from a list. So um, I'm going to go ahead and select enter or hit enter and I'm going to choose my dev align. And this is also why we changed the name is because there were multiple alignments. It was called alignment one or alignment five, or I wouldn't know what it was. Um, and so dev align gives me an, a good idea of which alignment I'm going to be working with. So I go ahead and click OK. And the offset alignment creation window comes up. And so the offset alignment creation window includes what alignment you're going to create an offset from, what the name of the template is going to be. So it's parent alignment name, so dev align, side, left or right, and then the offset distance. What we're going to go ahead and do is you can specify how many numbers of offsets you want to have and at what increment you want them to have. For us, we're going to go with one offset on the left and one offset on the right. This could be helpful if you wanted to create like multiple lanes and you wanted to do lane lines or something like that. For our purposes, we're just basically going to be setting what the outside edge of pavement is going to be. Then we're going to move from here into the incremental offset on the left and the incremental offset on the right. I'm going to, I want to create a 30 foot wide road. So I'm going to set my left side as 15 and I'm going to set my right side as 15. Then we have the options for our general assignments for our offset alignments. So what side it wants to be on, that is basically dynamically linked to whatever alignment you are basing your offsets on. Then you can choose what style you want it to be, what layer you want it to be on, and what label sets you want to assign. Often offset alignments are just used as like either targeting or informational alignments. And so you don't want to have any labels associated with them. So we're going to go ahead and leave this as no labels. Then we have widening criteria. So how you're going to widen these thing, these offsets, if you do create a widening, how you want to widen them around curves based on certain uh, widening methods and radius tables and that kind of stuff. So if you want to apply those, you check yes, then you specify information in here. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as unchecked. And then I'm going to go into the create offset profile. Since we don't have a profile associated with these offsets or with our parent alignment, we can't check this box. But if we did, we could check this box and then we could basically link our profile for our offsets to the profile for the parent alignment and just assign them a new elevation based on the cross slope from the parent alignment, which if I was doing that and I wanted to create my edge of roadway and I wanted my roadway to be a negative 2% cross fall, then I would go ahead and select negative two. So I'm going to navigate back to general. I'm going to click OK. And what you'll see happen is Civil 3D has now created two offset alignments and they are at 15 feet off of the center line alignment and they have no labels and they end and start at the same locations and they are dynamically linked to the center line alignment. So if I move this, you can see the offset alignments are going to travel with the center line alignment. 